so yes now you can start writing the sentence uh, mind it we are going to do the transformation of sentences and when we transform the sentence we just change its structure we don't change its meaning so the first category first kind of sentences we would be doing is removing to and changing them in in other structure and first in you will see like it would be like the form of so that it would be that correlative which will be you taking so first example is she was too shocked to speak so removing to she was too shocked to see so when remove to from here so transform the sentence removing to so what will be the answer yes tarundeep what will be the answer tarundeep what will be the answer divita yes yes ma'am mm -hmm. she was too shocked to see transform the sentence thereby removing to so we have to use chayank might be knowing it yes chayank she was very shocked she was very shocked and what about to see then yes khushi the man of grammar from this class yes khushi good afternoon ma'am yeah good afternoon ma'am she was so shocked that she could not see yes very good yes we can clap for khushi so she was so shocked that she was not able to see or or she was so shocked that she could not see even that would be better that she could not see got it so whenever we change to form remember whenever there is t o o then to the other side there is an infinitive to see so when we will remove this then even this will change so to and to changed into so that correlative so that and whenever we use so that then here we use either can or could or may or might so these this these are the rules now write next example for the same <clears throat> she is too cautious about everything she is too cautious about everything now there is a little deviation in the rule she is too cautious about every thing write one more example <clears throat> the box is too heavy to be picked up so i've given you two examples you change them thereby removing two yes okay first you change the second sentence first one you do later on second sentence the box is too heavy to be picked up 
because it's of the same kind which we did in example one. Here two, then in the other part there is two plus v, that is infinitive is there. Uh, yes, Devita, now speak the answer. Tanushka, yes, just a minute. Tanushka, raise hand Tanushka again. Yes. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, the box is so heavy that it can't be. Yes, the box is so heavy that it cannot be picked up. Yes. So first of all, the box is so heavy. The box is so heavy that it can't be picked up. So it would be can't, not couldn't, present. Because here it is present, so that also will be present. Okay, in case it was was, then it could have been could. So the box is so heavy that it couldn't be picked up. So both the sentences have same meaning. Okay, now let's come to the first part. She's too cautious about everything. Anyone who wants to try this sentence out. Because here there is no, it's only one, two. There is no two infinitive. It's only she's too cautious about everything. So how to change this? How can you rewrite the sentence without changing its meaning? But two is to be removed. If anyone knows the answer, please raise hand. Yes, Aman. Aman, yes. Aman. She is very cautious about everything. No. Uh, that is like, uh, yeah, it means this, but not uh, in a very, very exact manner. Okay, let me tell you the answer. So remember, number one, you ought to focus at the difference in the sentence. Here it is two without two infinitive on the other side. When you get this kind of sentence, then its answer will be like, she is more cautious than she should be about everything. So she is more cautious than she should be. She is more cautious than she should be about everything. Here we won't be using so that. So that will be used only when there is two infinitive afterwards. Okay, now write next example. Uh, now do the opposite. Transform the sentence removing so that, okay? She is so strong that she will not cry at this matter. So change this, thereby removing so that. Yes, raise hand if you know the answer. Okay, again, Khushi. Yes, Khushi. She is too strong to cry at this matter. Uh, repeat, please. She is too strong to cry at this matter. Yes, that is correct. Very good. She is too strong. Okay. She is too strong to cry at this matter. So we have got too strong to cry, too infinitive. Okay. Now, next example, all of you write down. 
<laughs> the play is so good that it should not be missed. The play is so good that it cannot be missed. The play is so good that it cannot be missed. Yes. Uh, now, who will speak the answer? Jyot Sarup will. Unmute yourself, Jyot. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Transform this given sentence, thereby removing so that. Yes. Yes, unmute yourself. Yes, where are you, Jotsarup? Hmm? Okay, Madhav. Jyoti, you can mute yourself. Madhav, yes. Saharsh. Saharsh. Jap Jyot. Good Sevak. Good Sevak, yes. Okay, Keshav. Even if you don't know the answer, I don't mind, but kindly unmute yourself. Um, I don't know the answer. Okay, who is saying? Keshav. Keshav, why don't you know? Try it out at least. Um, you can try. You have to remove so and that. And when you remove so or that, you can use T002. The play is. The play is too good to miss. Or you can say the play is too good to be missed. The play is too good to miss or the play is too good to be missed. Both will be correct. Okay, the play is too good to miss or the play is too good to be missed. Okay, write one more example. He is over eager for appreciation. 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 Its simple answer is Keshav, now give the answer. Garima, you can give answer. Ma'am, he is too eager to be appreciated. No, I think I spoke the sentence. He is over eager for appreciation. It is for appreciation. It's not to appreciation. He is over eager for appreciation. So the only answer will be he is too eager for appreciation. You have to only insert two. He is too eager for appreciation. Got it? Okay, now yes, next sir. sentence is. He is too young to go on a trip alone. 
he is too young to go on a trip alone he is too young to go on a trip alone yes prabhu give the answer hmm he is too young to go for a trip prabhu what happened Rabgun, good afternoon. Rabgun is not there. Ankita, Ankita. Yes, ma'am. Yes, give the answer. He, hmm. He he is so young. Uh. Hmm. He's the. He is so young that he can go on a trip alone. He is so young that he that he can go on a trip alone. But when we use so, then we on the other side we are to use negative. He is so young that he cannot go. Can't. Ah, uh, he is so young that he can't go alone. So when we use so on the other side, we use negative also. so he is so young that he can't go alone and it means that he is too young to go alone with the two infinitive we use we don't use negative we don't use not but with the uh, that we use not okay right next sentence children the sweets are too tempting for me to resist yes the sweets are too tempting for me to resist the sweets are too tempting for me to resist the meaning of the sentence is that the sweets are like i cannot leave these sweets because they are very sweet okay and you have to change this sentence you have to transform the sentence using so that come on <clears throat> i will ask anyone and show me the notebook also when you are doing it keep your notebooks ready harshdeep bedi show me notebook and unmute yourself harshdeep harshdeep adit yes okay harshdeep is there yes harshdeep show me notebook harshdeep show me notebook come on <clears throat> okay prabhun yes i'm um, good morning ma'am yeah, good morning good afternoon ma'am ma ma'am actually there was some issue uh, before okay never mind give the answer ma'am um, yes the sweets are so tempting that i can't resist ah yes very good answer the sweets are so sweet that i cannot resist them the sweets are so sweet that i cannot resist them okay that i can't resist them any doubt to anyone harshdeep very bad that you don't unmute yourself hmm okay one more example then we'll do the next kind <clears throat> the 
this child or the child is too mis mischievous to be left alone the child is too mischievous to be left alone i will ask anyone to show me notebook the child is too mischievous to be left alone the child is too mischievous to be left alone harshdeep now are you there jab jot jab jot saharsh saharsh Ritika I hope you might be writing the names of the defaulters Dhvanesh Okay yes ma'am hmm. the boy the child is too mischievous to be left alone the child is so mischievous that he can't be left alone okay. very good the child is so mischievous that he cannot be left alone the child is so mischievous that he cannot be left alone what are the spellings of mischievous tanushka will tell me tanushka uh afternoon ma'am ma'am m i c h i e v u x mischievous am i correct i'm saying mischievous yes ma'am acha am what do you said yes ma'am ma'am okay 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 m i s c h m i s hmm c h i e v v u s okay miss you miss okay so i i guess you spoke these only spellings okay uh, now children yes ma'am okay okay well done the main thing is that we want to see whether you are sitting attentively over there or not okay now next sentence is now next category is interchange of the degrees of comparison interchanging degrees of comparison first of all let us talk about like what the degrees of comparison are degrees of comparison are when i say uh this is a good book so here i am talking about one book which is good but when i say this book is better than that one so here i am comparing two books in the first sentence there is no comparison we are just talking about one book and that is good without comparison we use we say good but when there is two comparison between two books one book is this and then there is one more book out of when there is a comparison then we use the better and when there is comparison uh among more than two books this book is the best of all so when i say like when there are 50 books to that side and one book in my hand i say that this book is the best of all the books so we have got three sentences with the three different meanings of good so when there is only so good is the good is what it's a positive degree of comparison there are three degrees of comparison how many degrees of comparison are there three one is positive degree of comparison in positive degree we use 
first form that is good where there is no comparison that is called positive and when there are two when there is comparison between two things that degree is called as comparative okay that is called as comparative c o m p a r a t i v e positive is when there is no comparison comparative when there is comparison between two and when we talk about the the third degree of comparison we call it as superlative so third degree of comparison is superlative degree s u p e r and a t i v e it is pronounced as superlative it's not superlative it is superlative so positive comparative superlative so there are three degrees of comparison one is positive second is comparative and third is superlative positive degree of positive degree is used when there is no comparison for example she is a uh, she is she is an intelligent girl okay but when i compare two girls then i'll say this girl is more intelligent than that one but when i talk about one girl and her comparison with the whole class then i might say like this girl is most intelligent this girl is the most intelligent among all so we use positive degree when there is no comparison we use comparative degree when there is comparison between two and superlative degree is used when the comparison is uh, among more than two people or two things so there are three degrees positive comparative and superlative is that clear so there are uh, uh, these uh, you know degrees of comparison there is a big list i can give you some examples right now so one we have done good better best intelligent more intelligent most intelligent little less least what are the four degrees of comparison of little l i t t l e little less least okay few fewer fewest hard working more hard working most hard working right pretty prettier prettiest lovely lovelier loveliest so we'll be continuing with this interchanging of comparison we'll be learning its usage tomorrow up till here you people can go through some degrees of comparison today on your own many of you already might be knowing a lot but still uh, you can refresh yourself with the degrees of comparison today okay thank you children